just play with the keyboard. Just like that. <laughs> Ito yung isa sa mga araw na what? Now you just have to work with baby. And this is my third baby. He's five months old. And he's just learning to, uh, to, to, to feel his knees. Doing. Okay, what is more than baby? So I'm working today, or trying to work, and I'm so happy I just finished one task. <laughs> but yeah, um, I have a couple of more tasks to do today. But Nani called in sick. Yeah, Nani called in sick. And I have this baby with me and he wants to play with the keyboard just like that <laughs> ito yung isa sa mga araw na what now you just have to work with baby and this is my third baby he's five months old and he's just learning to uh, <laughs> to, to, to feel his knees and I have my two um, older children. They're eight and then six years old. Yung pangani ko, when I started working online, she was three years old and she was always beside me while I'm working. But I used to try na ganito uh, kasi If you are working, if you're one, you're working at home, uh, you just have to be with your kids and don't sit. <laughs> don't make me them go out. Oh no, you're reaching, huh? Don't make them go out and move. Kasi, para sa akin na, kasi, ano yung reason why you work at home, diba? The reason is to be with your kids, have a quality time with your kids. Pero if you send them out sa office kasi mag-work ka, then it's parang nag umalis ka rin ng bahay tapos nag-work outside. So, but I did try kasi hirap mag-focus. Working, right? Working and then watching over your kids. Um, and I did have two nannies before. Even now, but of course, they call me sick sometimes. But yeah, even with nannies before, my my baby girl would still want to come inside the office and be with me. So yeah, she's with me all the time. I just, she has her own computer, right? And this baby is listening, see? <laughs> it calmed him down when I talk. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Um, so I don't uh, put them out the office when I work there with me. Yung second baby ko naman, while I was working, I was nursing him longer than than my first baby and, and this one. So I nursed him while I work. Yeah, and I bought to feel it, fed him while I work. So meron akong ano, meron akong punan dito nakalagay. This baby naman, Actually, um, may nani kasi eh. So, he's always with the nani. It's just today na it's just him and me. And this baby is really, you know, he's really listening. Like, can you see that? His attention is on my voice. So, <laughs> na, nakakalma siya. And he's really, this is really, he's really a good kid. Like, kahit na lagay ko lang siya sa ano, yung, stroller niya. But as he grow bigger, he's more playful and he just malaki na kasi siya sa stroller niya so sinisipan niya tong 
yung edges ng stroller and it hurt him. So, kinuha ko. Kawawa naman. Mm. And, yeah, in, medyo antok na rin siya. So, in a while, but even with him on my lap, I was still able to finish one task. But, yeah, I've got to post. Um, have a breather. Talk to my team. Napit kung ano kailangan nila. And then, um, we came fall asleep. And then go to the next client and work again, right, baby? And yeah, um, I have to prepare lunch for my lunch, not lunch. I always lunch clients. <laughs> Campaigns, that's why I say lunch. Lunch. I have to prepare lunch for Kuya, baby. Understand that, baby? Yeah. So this is one of the days being a wom, like really. I just use my my laptop's camera. You know, I'm thinking about buying cameras really because I want to have you know a better video. Thing I want to share. How is it being a wom? How are you going to schedule your time with all the roles that you have in your life? And oh my God. My my mission also is how to be, you know, still look. Kasi ako, kahit lumalabas ako, ganito na rin ang itsura ko ngayon. Oh my goodness, ang layo nung when I was. Uh, hindi naman siguro ganun palayo. But yeah, I still would still put in some glamour and things in this lifestyle. But sa ngayon, I'm busy. But yeah, um, ang idea ko talaga, you know, um, uh, Um, creating the blog and um, starting blogging in a way then is to really share how is it to be a one and then how is it na you could put gates in it take still work and then still take care of yourself as you take care of your family and of course um kasi masyado na akong focus sa work sa kung paano kumita ng pera I forgot to take care of myself. And yung health ko talaga is nag-suffer. Like, I just found out when I got pregnant with this boy here na I have hypokalemia. That's when you, uh, you have a very low potassium. And nakakamatay pa naman. And, and so, um, dapat hindi ako ma-dehydrate or hindi ako magka-diabetes or hindi ako magka-UTI. So there's a lot of complications to that, you know, to that condition. So, you know, sabi ko, I decided, you know, um, be healthy. So, ngayon, I'm still in the journey of retaining myself, so to speak. And while working, while taking care of family, eh, again, na-share ko rin. Well, kung hindi yung panabasa, you can visit my blog, uh, www.theworkingmom.life. Um, I've shared there na hindi ako hands-on sa kids ko and I'm not in, you know. Uh, but, yeah, I see to it na there with me as much as I could and they could disturb me anytime because, you know, they are more important than work. Kaya nga, ano nangyari is, if I have time to work, I work. And I try to do with them as much as I could. At this one, I really don't resent doing this for this baby boy here. Um, it's an opportunity. Buti na lang, mahaba ang tulog ko yesterday. Because yesterday is a Sunday. Mm, and I have strength. Kasi isa sa tip-tips pala ng hypokalumin is that you really get fatigued. Like, so steady, so strong, grabe. And you cannot get out of your bed sometimes. So, yeah. So, it's hard. But then, again, lahat naman tayo, may kanya-kanya. Ano mo yun? Uh, cross to there. And I do believe na it's up to us to really make bad things into positive. So, yun. So, yun ang ginagawa ko. It's like, ano din, Um, I'm I'm such a believer with um, 
passive thinking, not really that only. Yung, alam mo yung ko, but anong term exactly, but I usually have this notebook. I list down all the things I, I want myself to be like. If I'm shy, I'll say like, um, I'm courageous, I, I talk on this page, I'm a good whatsoever, so, kumbaga, kiniklaim ko yun. Uh, some of them are, you know, naniniwala ako in the end of the day, but some hindi masyado, but, um, you know, I, I always do my best to take things turn around, so turn negative things into good. Right now, while I, I'm still trying to regulate my, what do I regulate, baby boy? Uh, regulate my, my vitals, right? Right? Mommy needs to take vitamins and rest sometimes. Um, that's why um, I'm documenting things, really, because I'll share one day kung paano. At the moment, yun nga. That's the plan. I'm going to share one moments. Uh, those are the moments where how I work, how 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 I schedule, how I set up my office at home, <laughs> and then I'll share motherhood as well. Shempre, my mother. I cannot be a woman without a baby. <laughs> and then I'll also share um. How is it with your relationship? How is it you know, relationship-wise uh, with your husband? My husband is also working at home with me because he wants to be with his family as well, like me. So, share ko yun. And then, of course, share ko yung moments with my kids. And then, um, how we bond. Say, one of the perks of working at home is that you could have a flexible time, but again, flexible time doesn't mean no work at all. It's just that you have an option to go out whatever time you want, whatever time and whatever day, right? Mm, he's bored, he's high. <laughs> and then lastly, what would I share? Um, I know, I know something. Yeah, inspirations, like how I keep on going. You know, um, Working online, having a career online, is not that easy. You have to take care of everything. Like you have to take care of your insurance. You have to take care of your finances. You have to see to it that you have something set aside funds for, you know, lean moments. And there are lean moments. Clients come and go. So yeah, I'm also going to share how to get started, how to get clients, how to manage your money and all of that um you know how how i do things um i'm still there i'm still on the journey of you know getting the financial stability that i want but so far it's it's really where i want to be and this is something that i wouldn't be if i still continue on working as i have before so if you haven't read my blog, my background, and my sites, uh, you would know that I, I used to be a college instructor and teach computer subjects. I graduated as a computer science, uh, bachelor in computer science, and you know I started teaching college computer. So if I stayed as a college instructor, I wouldn't be having this, uh, you know, baby. <laughs> no, baby. I mean, yeah. So, uh, I'm still blessed. I just have to push uh, for more. Uh, not more about money, it's more about taking care of myself, staying fit, taking care of the family, all those stuff. So, stay true, and I hope you uh, join me in this journey. So, I have more um, structured videos from the coming, coming, uh, coming months, I hope. This one is just really to just 
stand out there and wait to see how the others will love me. I just have to, I just have to share it with everybody. <laughs> That's it for now. So, you know, just, just let go of your fear. Be free. Be warmy. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and learn more how to be a work at home mom. <laughs>